Late July. The Federation has maintained its momentum. We're pushing ahead into Imperial territory. As our front line expands, we're running low on personnel and supplies, but mostly within projections. So long as we believe in victory, in our allies, and in ourselves, we can keep fighting. It's laundry day. If you got skivvies piling up, then hand them over. Uh, oh, women put theirs in this bag. Don't worry, I'm taking it straight to Karen. Oh, thank God. I was worried I'd have to give mine up to Raz. Uh, who the hell would want your stinking undies? You never know with Raz. He's a real degenerate. Who else would try to sneak into a strip club at ten years old? Wow, I remember that now. And he busted his adult disguise before he even got in. I can't believe I forgot. Publicly humiliated, wearing that stupid wig and high heels. I don't know if they busted him so much as he got too excited and passed out just outside the door. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> That's even better. Look, you guys can think whatever you want, but I only did that on a dare, okay? Well, that changes everything. Clearly, you're a badass. Oh, there you are, Riley. Do you have any clothes that need to be washed? I was just about to hand them off to Kai. Uh, oh, that's a relief. Why is that a relief for you? Well, I just... There was a commotion over here, so... Anyway, do you have enough clothes to last you? Yeah, I brought plenty with me, so I should be fine. On that note, I've been meaning to ask about your uniform. Oh, right. That isn't a standard issue Edinburgh uniform. Well, on paper I'm a grenadier, but my main job is more like a scientist. I guess I impressed someone with all the tech I worked on, because they made me an officer. But since I never went through the academy, I don't have much real authority. I'm like... an unofficial lieutenant? I see. They just didn't have an appropriate uniform to give you. Exactly. So I convinced them to let me design my own. Uh... Aren't there some... issues with wearing that in battle? Like what? It's both practical and fashionable. Even when we were kids, Riley's only ever worn skirts. Not even the army can make her wear pants now. <laughs> if you're jealous, Claude, I'm sure we could find you a nice flirty skirt. Jealous? Uh, no, <laughs> Th that's not... <laughs> Come on, guys. weird. He should be around here. Is that Riley? Uh, yeah. Where are you? Down here, under the hoffin. Sorry, I've got my hands full. Mind if I work on this while we talk? Sure, that's fine. I just wanted to ask you something. <clears throat> this thing does not want to move. <clears throat> ask me what? I've been thinking about adjusting my grenades. Come on, damn you! Yeah. Uh, uh, really? Are you even listening? Uh, yep, I'm listening. Something about... grenades? I'd like to try modifying them. I think it could give us some more options in combat. So, I was wondering if I could use some of the Hoffin spare parts? What do you think? Well, they seem friendly enough. I mean, on the surface. 
Wait, what? They can stand there and talk, but there's still a gulf between them. Call it kind of a hunch. Yeah? You think they're that complex? Guess it's just woman's intuition. Except that I'm a man here. Don't forget it. Like there's any chance of that. But seriously, no guy's got an ass this tight. Oh, oh, oh. oh come on! What the hell was that for? I could ask the same of you. Are you serious? It was just a friendly butt pat between dudes. <laughs> well, would you looky here? That was a hell of a swing. Trust me, getting to tinker with these things is gonna be incredible. You're totally gonna love. What the? For real? Are those two seriously gonna fight right here? Wait, what? Who's gonna fight? Who the heck do you think? Raz and... <laughs> Raz and... <laughs> uh, no, Riley! I, I swear, I, I didn't mean to... I didn't mean... Man, those two really need to lighten up, huh? Mine was just an accident. Don't act like we're both guilty here. Hey, I'd kill to have an accident like that. Must have been one hell of a view. I got a pretty nice view of the sole of her boot. I'm just lucky she didn't have cleats. <laughs> we gotta watch our steps around those two. They don't take crap from no man. What's wrong? Crick in your neck? No, it's the wind. Another one of your wind whispers? A storm's coming. In one hour, with strong winds. We'll need to be careful. So this bright sunny weather's gonna turn to shit, huh? It's almost creepy how far you can guess ahead. It's not a guess. I know it'll happen. Whatever. How'd you even learn to do that, anyway? When we were kids, you got rained on all the time. And you always cried about it, too. Hmm. Did I? Probably more academy stuff, huh? You take some kind of meteorology course or something? Well, yes, but that's not quite the same. This is something different. Ugh, that goddamn face again. Huh? You got a smile like you're scared of something. It pisses me off. Uh, uh. you were finally starting to grow out of it. Sorry. Claude, scouting duty in one hour. We'll need five soldiers from each squad. Huh? <laughs> Understood. I'll join the team for squad E. Raz, you should come too. With a storm coming, I ain't going out in that shit. Raz. It's a joke, all right? I'll get my rain gear. Good idea. I'll do the same. Time for some nocturnal reconnaissance.
Let's go. Here I go. Yes, sir. That concludes the briefing. Now get into position. We'll start patrolling. Be careful out there, everyone. Man, you weren't kidding about the storm. How are we supposed to scout when we can't see anything? You have a point. It'll be hard to identify enemies like this. We just have to be extra careful. According to the map, there should be a clearing ahead. We'll head there first. The guys on the cliff should have a better vantage. They can scope things out before we forge ahead. Good idea, Raz. Let's make it happen. Got it. Moving out. Rain is bullshit, man. I can't see a damn thing. It's like our night battles back in training, right? Make up for poor visibility with extreme caution. Spotted. Sir! Yes, sir! Moving out. Enemy spotted. Keep going. Here comes the pain. Got this. I'm a one man army. Die. Your own damn fault. <laughs> Here comes the pain. Fault. Aye, aye, sir. Orders. Attacking. Objective complete.
The enemy. this. Objective complete. Got this.
can do this. Nothing unusual here. One more area to comb and we're done. Man, it's freezing out here. Isn't this supposed to be summer? What gives? We're in a forest at night in the rain. It happens. Let's get this over with so we can head back and get some hot coffee. Yeah, and some dry cigs. All right, I quit. Wait, you quit? Now that you mention it, I haven't seen you smoking in a while. I mean, more power to you, but why'd you stop? Why? Well, you know, just being practical. They're hard to get out here. Really? I figured the base was pretty well stocked. Oh, hey, but yeah, forget that. You know what this rain reminds me of? That one day back in Hafen. You know, our fist fight. How could I forget? It was really coming down then, too. I was just teasing you like usual when out of nowhere you went off on me. I still have no idea why. I knew I had zero chance of winning. But no matter how many times I knocked you on your ass, you just kept getting back up. You were freaking me out. That's the only reason I started, you know, punching you for real. Uh-huh. Glad to know that's why I spent two weeks in the hospital. Yeah, I... I'm sorry about that. Should have kept my cool. Nah. It's fine. That's what finally got me to change. Change? Back then, I was dead inside. But you sort of knocked the life back into me. Claude. Line. Zeke what now? The Ziegfall Line. A series of fortifications built along the Empire's old border. If we break through that, the capital will be right in front of us. It's the Empire's last line of defense. They're probably gathering as much firepower as they can, even if it means abandoning their other territories. They say Command's planning to finish this war at the Ziegfall Line itself. Sooner or later, might as well take a few out while we can. They haven't noticed us, and we got this storm for cover. If we ambush them now, they'll scatter. We only have infantry, and we're under-equipped. We should wait for them to pass, and... <laughs> Fine, scaredy Claude. You can take a seat and wait. All right, you imp bastards! Who wants to die?! Retreat. This is too dangerous. Oh, shut up. Things are finally getting good. I've been waiting to get my hands on some imps. 
You'll put your squad in danger so you can have some fun? <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that's not what you're doing. We all feel the same way. But save it for the final battle. Squad, he can't bust through the Zeke fault line without you, you know. Right, I forgot. It's my job to kick your ass in gear. This might be a messy retreat, though. I need your help. Who the hell do you think I am? I'm invincible, remember? Good. And I'll fire off a flare to signal for help. Once backup arrives, we can fight them off as we withdraw. Wait, a flare? In this weather? They'll never see it. Don't worry. This one's a Riley special. They'll see it rain or shine. No shit. Guess she's good for something. Let's do this. Everyone, hold out for reinforcements. This is a... Something out there. Ready for action. My rival's not going down that easily. Squad E, two arms! Hold out for reinforcements. Let's go, everyone! Avoid direct confrontation until reinforcements arrive. Try to buy some time as you retreat. Oh crap! Claude, over there! The bridge got washed away! How are we supposed to get back now? This rain is washing away a lot of dirt and debris. If we can find some that's sturdy enough to cross... Well, yeah, if there just conveniently happens to be a... Lightning just broke apart that tree! Well, hot damn! I think we got our crossing! Roadblock. Got a tree in our way. Damn. Do we have to go around it? Or can we break through? I can do this. We have to do this. Enemy spot. Let's take him out. This I'm a one man army. Moving out.
Hey, Yaz, check this out. Way too easy. Is that? I know that bark. It's rags, which means backup. The cavalry is here. Hell yeah! No more running away, right, Scaredy Claude? Right. Weapons free. Time for our counterattack. <laughs> I'm up. Freedom is weak. My lucky day. There they are. Found them. I'm up. What do you call a night owl? That's my chance. That's worth a raise, right? Found him. Time to go. Next. Time to go. Oh. 
Don't underestimate me. I'm not dying here. Moving out. What's this? Enemy down. Nice to feel. Where are you looking? Moving out. Nice to feel dirt under my feet.
should check out that tree. Yeah, it might help us get to the other side. Let's try it. Understood. Way too easy. There they are. There they are. You're going nowhere. Let's go. I, I did it. Understood. Check this out. There. I can do this. Check this out. Don't underestimate me. Battlefield is where I belong. That's all of them. Phew. For a second, I didn't know if we'd make it. I'm the one who saw the flare. Lucky for you, I was around. Well, it was Ragnarok who kept us on track. <coughs> Rags, Riley, Kai, thank you. You all saved our lives. Well, it wasn't that big a deal. Anyway, let's get the hell out of here. I'm freezing my ass off. <laughs> Whoa, is this really happening? All it took was a light sprinkle for Raz to catch a cold? What? No, don't be ridiculous. I mean, you heard him, didn't you? 
He's invincible. Oh, that's a relief. The rest of us deserve some coffee, though. We'll be sure to raise a mug in his honor. Oh, oh, I see how it is. Everyone gets a shot in, huh? I won't forget this. You certainly impressed someone in that line. Hey, thought you might be here. Good morning, sunshine. How'd you sleep? Ugh, like a log. Didn't even dream. That was a letdown. Kinda hoped I'd dream up some bombshell in a bikini to reward me for my hard work. You realize Kai's gonna hit you again if you keep that up. I'm getting used to it. Next time, I'll cut out the middleman and just ask her to smack me. Hard to believe it was storming so bad just yesterday. We'll have clear skies for a while. The mud will dry out, and it'll be great weather for marching. Oh boy, here we go again. Huh? What's wrong? I spent so long just staring at the sky like this. For years, Raz. Like I was an empty husk. Remember where this picture was taken? Of course I remember. Miller Company, Ragnite Power and Energy, biggest factory in Hoffen. Right. Riley's dad was doing research there. Riley and I used to play out back all the time. The weather was just like today's. Not a cloud in the sky. We were playing outside like normal. When it happened. <coughs> Riley and I ran to the factory to see what was wrong. Let's go. We're done here. We ran into a group of Imperial soldiers at the entrance. You... I know you! You've been bothering my dad! What did you do to them? Ah, little Riley, is that you? My, how big you grow. Don't worry. Al's research, your father's research, is safe in my hands. <laughs> Dr. Belgar, we must hurry. Hmm. <laughs> no! Yeah! Riley, it's burning! The factory's on fire! We have to get out of here! Dad and Mom! They're still inside! Daddy! It's... My sister! I heard the factory got burned down by the Empire. But I didn't know you were there, too. I stopped Riley from rushing in, but... I wasn't being noble. I was just scared out of my mind. And I was ashamed. I hated myself for being so... powerless, useless. After that, Riley stopped talking to me. I tried to go through the motions of my life like nothing happened. But in my head, I kept getting pulled back to that day. Stuck in place, paralyzed. Soon I found myself just... 
Standing still, looking up, staring blankly at the clouds, the sun, the rain. After years of doing that to cope, one day I, I realized I could notice subtle changes in the atmosphere. And that's where the wind talk came from, huh? I always figured you learned it in the academy. Watching you and the other kids playing around, not worried about the future, it honestly made me mad. Dumb guy like me thinking about my future? Please. I'm a darkson anyway. Not much to look forward to. And then one day you were teasing me over something so... inconsequential. I just suddenly stopped caring. I launched myself at you. And you beat me down. I tasted blood. I heard my own bones crack. But still, I knew it was nothing compared to what Riley went through. That's when I decided I wanted to become stronger, so I'd never be frozen by fear again. Wait, so that's how you ended up going to the academy? Yeah, filled out my application while I was in the hospital. So you got this far thanks to me? <laughs> Shit, and here I was gonna apologize to you! <laughs> like I said, you killed the old me. When I came back, I promised myself I would change. Ah, I wish Kai had heard all that. Maybe then she wouldn't think I'm such a bad guy. I'm glad we could talk like this. Yeah, feels like a load off my shoulders right before the final battle. Don't go dying on me out there. I'm more worried about you. You almost got yourself killed. <laughs> I can handle it. I'm invincible, remember? I can't die until I take every last imp to hell with me. Hey, listen to me. I'm being serious here. Yeah, I know. Take care of yourself out there. You too. <laughs> what, too cliche? Too punk for a schoolboy like you? Uh, no. Honestly, I, I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> Careful, Claude. You don't want to catch us stupid. What the... Kai, Riley, when'd you get here? Just now. Why are you so twitchy? Talking about something you didn't want us hearing? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Just guy stuff. Right, Claude? Yeah. You boys are so weird. You can act all mysterious, but I bet you were just talking about butts. <sighs> You're the worst. We're this close to our showdown with the Empire, and you're chasing TNA? Just beautiful. At last, it is time for the games to begin. Class, huh? how long are we going to have to wait? Yeah, it's boring. Maybe we'll just head home. My apologies. A gentleman shouldn't keep his ladies waiting. Now then, let's have a little fun. Chapter 4, The Battle of Zigfall. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to... Stay in the Barclay. How you doing? 